Hey everyone, um, I've gotten the issues resolved with Perusal, and so I wanted to go over a few things with you about how to enter the code for your um, textbook. So what you want to do is you want to access Perusal right here on the left side of your screen once you get inside of your class. Remember, Perusal is going to be the place where your textbook lives, so consider it like your bookshelf. So if you click on Perusal here, Perusal will open up. And then I'm going to switch over to the student view for a minute so you can, so it will look like what you will see. So, um, what you want to do is you want to go to your library right here. And then you want to click on the book. This is the book that we will be using. So you are purchasing the access code for this textbook. So if you click on this and then you click open, this is when it's going to ask you for your access code. So if you click here on enter your access code, this is the code that you will um, put in. Once you put that in and then you click OK, then you will have access um, to the textbook. It is a very long, as you can see, and wonky code. I highly recommend that you copy it and paste it in there. Um, so that's how you're going to um, get to your textbook when you purchase it. Um, so again, I want to just remind you again that Perusal is where your textbook lives. So if you click on that, you're always going to go to Perusal. I get a lot of questions about is Perusal where we're going to be submitting assignments. The assignments that you do in Perusal will be assigned to you through Canvas. And so all of the annotation that we will do through the semester, that is done in Perusal. That is where I will grade that. Other assignments will be turned in in Canvas like you normally do. So like right now you have two assignments, that's to read and annotate the course syllabus. You can either read or annotate the PDF version or the web page version. It's totally up to you. And, um, and those will all be there under assignments. I've also gotten a lot of questions about how come I can't just highlight well. If you watch the video about what is annotation and how to annotate, you will see that annotation is not just highlighting and Perusal will not let you do that. Perusal will um, force you to make comments. You highlight and then you make a comment. And there is no right or wrong to comments. Um, notes, those are your notes. Those are your cues to help you remember something. So um, just keep that in mind. The other thing I want to point out really quickly is that Perusal has some cool tools. Um, if you open an assignment and you'll see the document, over here are the tools and um, there's some kind of some cool things for you to do over here. Like you can go to the table of contents, um, you can search for something. If you want to just see um, my comments, you can go up here and you can um, just see like the instructor comments. You can um, you can unhighlight, so you can have no comments. So if you want to read it without reading what everybody else does, you can do that. The other thing that it has is it has this read aloud function here, which is kind of cool. And so you could actually have um, you could have this reading to you while you are following along. So it's got some cool features. We'll be working with it a lot. I hope this helps you. And um, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, guys.